Jimmy Flint, Watman Assassin TV. I'm here at Lieber, London Xboxers Association. We're going to catch up with some of the faces and have a chat. It's been nearly two years, I think. What's your job on leaving now? Well, uh, today I got promoted, Jim, and I'm, uh, I'm, over, I'm ecstatic. I mean, I love this place. I've got, I, I, this is really, apart from my family, this is my life. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Family first. Okay. Mr. Chairman, someone's already called me Mr. Chairman. How about that? Lee Bays give you the lever, I need a book. Thank you very much. What's that London X Boxing That's Association? London. This is this is what Lee does, Lee. Yeah. Ticks everybody in. Okay, everyone's here. So That's there's a register, so he what he does, he ticks everybody. Uh, we know he's there. We've got 132 people here today. Which is wonderful. Great. Wonderful. Great. Yeah. It makes makes me uh, yeah, feel a bit emotional. Yeah, I understand. Oh, big time. We've had all our members here now, and uh, they've all stuck to the thing. They've all kept it. We've lost nobody to COVID. Some of us had it, nobody, and that's because they're old school, they played the game and they've done it right. And, that. and that's great. And look at this turnout here today. There's probably ten more than normally come. This is it. And this is once this is what they want, once a month, ex boxers. They were all in a gym like you. And that was like, that was like being in the army a partnership. Then you go out in life and you lose all that. Now you bring it back. Yeah, how are you doing? How you Absolutely fantastic. The force is back. The force is back, yeah. Back with the massive bang. I feel, I feel absolutely great. That's brilliant. What do you think of Lieber, the club? The born survivors. And how about the uh, COVID? Did that scare you? It made me more determined to defeat the odds. Let me tell you this. I've been here 20 odd years. And what's happened People in the past, they've let them go on too long. Are you with me? So, so they've had to be moved. Now I'm still okay. I'm 80, 83 next birthday, right? But and I'm still all right, I believe, for a couple of years. But I don't want to be told to move on that I can't do it anymore. We've got a good man in Bob Cheeseman. I've worked with him for two years. I speak to him in Zoom every week. Yeah, and talk to him about the chairman's job and the events that we do. It's not just standing up here. Yeah. I also do the event. Yeah, you, so you're doing the 50th, 50 years, isn't it? It's 50 years in November of this year. My well, job here now, I'm the president. The president of the association still, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's lovely. The working president, Ch Charlie Wright, he chases me all over the place, he gives me things to do. Sorry? How long have you been president? I've been president since 1996. When my father died, I took he over. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't ask to take over. Yeah. Um, I was just made president. I just when well, you've been here the longest, yes. so you've got to do it. I think everybody's glad to be back. Yeah, All glad to be back. You know. Definitely. And we wanted to get open again. Yes. Because November yes. is 50 years. I know. And it's going 50 it. years. You know. Yeah, you're gonna have a do for that, aren't you? Right. Well, yeah. But I. I we will be having to do for sure, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't go to the very first meeting because I, I didn't really know what it was all about. Yeah. And uh, but the second meeting that yeah. they had, yes. I went to that and I, and you really I've never seen. missed one since. So Gary, tell us, you boxed for the world title, didn't you? Yeah, I boxed for the world title. Jeff Horn. Jeff, Jeff Horn. Jeff Horn. Did he finish now? He beat Manny Pacquiao. Yeah? He beat Manny Pacquiao and then he added a bit of a... And then he lost Terence Crawford. Pound for pound, the best in the world. So, uh, and yeah, you're looking to come back yourself. Sorry, you're looking to come back. I'm looking to come back myself. I'm looking to get my license back. Fingers crossed, get it back. So you'll be a middleweight. Probably a middleweight uh, or a light middleweight. Light middle, yeah. Yeah, but it looks like this mom could be middle. So we'll see what yeah, happens. Just see how you go. We're gonna see how it goes. See how it goes. See how the weight comes off. Yeah. But see what happens. Yeah. I'm a lot bigger than what I used to be. So uh, let's see what's healthy for me.
I'm the oldest member. How old were you then? 71 you come? Pardon? In 1971? Yes, I'm the oldest member. What's your name? When it first started. Tell us your name. Peter Kent. Peter Kent? I was on the first committee. Did you box Peter yourself? Yes. As a professional? Amateur. Amateur. What was your amateur club? Pardon? Where'd you... The Gates of Boxing Club, Drury Lane. Oh, no, yeah, Gates. Number all, all the uh, top lawyers. Oh, really? Been to court mission. How did you do as an amateur? I done all right. You done all right, yeah. I wasn't ambitious, though. You wasn't ambitious? No, I boxed in the ABA. Yeah. I got North West Division. That's good. 1948, before I'd realised yeah. that the games was here, I've got to try back. I wasn't, it didn't worry me if I got beat. I, I'd box the next day. Oh, that's good. That's a good attitude. Uh, you know how old I am now, don't you? Go on, tell us. 96. Fucking ah, okay, no, That's brilliant, isn't it? I was, I was so fit up to a year ago. Yeah? I was so fit. You were still sparring up until a year ago? Yeah. <laughs> I could skip for half hour. <coughs> that's brilliant. Um, did you write about Lieber? I write about these guys all the time. You do? I do, Are yeah, because you... I've been a member here for so long. Yeah. Um, you get guys coming here, you know. They don't like to blow their own trumpet. And they were there and they'd be here every time and you'd be like, they were a great guy, you know, they were the lightweight yeah. or welterweight or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But nobody really knows anything about them. Oh, I got you. So that's when I come in. Right about them, isn't it? So that's when I come in. Is it the like, local news? What do they call it? The Levers? It's the seconds out. But I have interviewed hundreds of the guys here. Yes. And it's always a joy because when you're sitting down, get them talking about their lives. Yes, it's amazing. And all the guys read these pieces and they're yeah, like, it's, it's Jesus, I never yeah. even knew. We've known them for years and we yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, I know. They don't talk a lot. No. They don't. They don't talk about themselves. They don't talk about themselves. No. no. They keep yeah. it all in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good to be back. You see all the old... It's yeah. a lovely atmosphere, isn't it? With yes. most people with have your own... Of course. And you feel comfortable, don't you? Well, I, well, I do, yeah. I only done a bit of schoolboy boxing. I was, I, I, uh, an amateur. I was, I always regret it not carrying on. It's all young fellas who uh, get into it and don't turn up for training. Do it while you're young, because you, you'll regret it. You can never do it. You'll never do it when you're later. And I regretted it all my life, not carrying on. <laughs> WBU, who did you beat for that? Who did you box for that? I beat Takalu for the WBU line middleweight title. It was a great knockout, wasn't in it? In 2004. It was a knockout punch, wasn't it? The right. Second round knockout. Second round, Left hook. Left hook, bam. Gone. You know what? 17, 17 years ago, next week. 17 years? 17 years ago. That's crazy. Though. I'm a full time father now, you know. I look yeah, after my, that's your little girl. Look after my little girl, Shania. Full time dad for her. I'm also, I do security. Security? I do, I do front line And you're security. doing refereeing? Yeah. On seconds out? That's it, um, I referee for Queensbury League, yeah. white collar boxing. Uh -huh. So you're so, doing um, that, yeah. Hopefully next month I'll start getting back to, to normal. You know, um, do you train anybody? Do you know what, it's not been my thing really. No, just... When I retired 12 years ago, I've done yeah. a bit, but you know what, to be a, to be a trainer, you still got to, you got to love it like a like a father. Yeah, like yeah, and that's you different. Got, you got to, you got to yeah. um, be into dedicated it. and yeah, really want to do it. it. I, remember, I, remember, I remember coming to these meetings when I was fighting. Uh huh. And now I'm an ex fighter. You know, that's great. Just flies, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's great talking, Wayne. Yes, enough. Take care. Little Shania, wait with the camera. Um, I was with St Pancras Amateur Boxing Club. Oh, yes, um, yeah. One junior ABA, senior ABAs. Oh, you say you done well. You know, didn't do bad, didn't yeah, do bad. Yeah, and um, was a professional, what happened as a professional? Professional, I've become English light heavyweight champion, uh, fought for the British and Commonwealth title, um, lost to people I had previously beaten, by the way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but, yeah, but, you know, um, yeah, I had a nice career, met some amazing people. Oh, it's amazing, you know, I, over here I've met um, ex opponents, people I've grew up watching yeah. fight, um, I've read about, aspire to be like, you know, so it's, it's, it's great, yeah. No, but it's, it's great to be to be part of something where, you know, you become like-minded people. Yeah. Um, I was one of the younger lot, I'm one of the younger lot. You're you know? younger, yeah, yeah. So, so it's nice to, but it's nice to see, yeah, nice to see the people. respect from, yeah, from, from the guys, it's, it's, it's amazing, yeah, it's a lovely place. place. Pleasure. Stevie Power, I used to spar with Stevie, Stevie. Yeah, 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 I used to spar, that was, 
that would have been about 64, 65. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some of the when I was there, some of the St. Pancras boys, and then young, the younger ones who come all the way out of ABA, so like David Oddwell. Uh, well, his his uncle used to train me, George Oddwell. Harry. So when you <coughs> was there, did, did, how old was the, the, when were you there in the sixties? I was probably the same age as David, a bit older than David. Uh, of course. Then, then you had, uh, of course, when I was there, you had Georgie Francis, oh, no, Philip. Yeah. Uh, Harry Harris, yeah, old Harry Harris, yeah, no, yeah. he was my main train, and then George Oddwell, and then Ronnie Smith, who's up in the corner there, he then started training my son. He's still ill now, he's still one of the best trainers. Yeah. Hello, Hello. 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 My name's Billy Schwer, my son's a former world champion and a member of Liba. I've been a member of Liba for 30, 40 years now, you know. And tell us about when you was in, where was your champion of Ireland? I was champion of Ireland in 1962, yes. Uh, what weight was you? I was a featherweight and I boxed for England. You did box for England, yeah? As a featherweight, yeah. Oh, that's great. And then my son, uh, he was British, Commonwealth, European and world champion. He couldn't make it today. He lives in uh, Yorkshire at the moment. That's a long way away, isn't it? And Emily, yeah. tell us about your career as a fighter. My career, I was schoolboy champion of Ireland when I was 11, 12, 13 years of age. And then I come to England on my own to be a jockey when I was 14. Leave me back. Oh, it's brilliant. Like, he meets so many old friends. Boxers are a nice people, yeah? They are, yeah, great. Down to work. Yeah, yeah, don't get no lies, so, you know, it's great. What they say each week, yeah. I've never heard it before, it's good to belong, yeah. Yeah? yeah? And it is good to belong, and it's nice to see. This is the biggest social exercise yeah. for a lot of old and younger men yeah. to get together. Look at sometimes they get all dressed up in their nice yeah, I know. shiny clothes and all that stuff. Yeah, well, it's wonderful. Yeah, well. This is my first time. Vincent is my wife's uncle and we spoke about it the other week and so this now is my yeah. there you go. and I love it and I'm now going to sign up and I will be here every month. That's lovely. Well it's an absolute pleasure and that's why there's so many people here today because we ain't been here for 18 months. Wow it's a long time. So you got people from Essex, Brighton, all over, everywhere. Talking about this, it's great, great to get back. Seeing the old faces like Eddie and all the old boxers, it's, it's brilliant. They started in 71, didn't they? 1971. Yeah, yeah, oh, not as early as that. You was here in like 1985? Not as early as that, no. I might have been detained with his manager's pleasure. <laughs> What Libra means to you, Phil? It means the Lord's eternal battling angel. Nothing like it, Jim. It's no. the best atmosphere in the world. Libra, if you're an ex-boxer, you've got to be here. Well, come here, you can yeah. Getting kids off the street and into boxing is absolutely brilliant. And I love it. Oh, I'm now going to sign up and I will be here every month. Great day today at Libra with the old boxers. Great banter, having a chat. It means a hell of a lot to them to be here today. 150 people. Check it out. Whopping Assassin TV.